You know what? The more you do that, the more it smooths out. All right, guys. Good old boy 32 here. Check it out. This is part two of the Bear Creek Arsenal a basic rifle review. Uh, so, what do we got so far? From the initial box opening, my only complaints about this guy was the buffer tube that finish. I don't know what that is. And the A2 birdcage finish. Really picky of me to be pointing those things out. I do like the QD point right here on the uh, buttstock. Uh, right now, we're going to be running the, uh, the uh, LMT wannabe backup iron sight with the Aimpoint wannabe. Because uh, I figure, for the most part, people are going to be putting economical uh, style red dots and optics on this thing. Now, we're going to test it out using a 4 to 14 first focal plane scope with the R grid 2B uh, B2 from Primary Arms because I want to just check and see how accurate it is. Using a red dot, we're not going to be able to see how accurate it truly is. But uh, I think we'll be surprised. So let's go ahead and get on over here, do some shooting. Got some steals out there. We're going to try to hit a target out at 400 yards with this thing and uh, see how it goes. Here we go. All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the long range with this guy right here. This is the Bear Creek Arsenal. This is their, well, M4 Drury. <laughs> and when they asked me if I'd be willing to take one of these things out and give it a run for its money, I said absolutely, yes, I would. So what are we doing? Well, we're going to go ahead and zero it in. Uh, I've bore sighted it so far, and we're going to top it off with this guy. This is the primary R4-14 first focal plane scope with the R grid. Now, I don't know the velocities of this round coming out of this barrel. This has a 1 in 9 twist. I, this is the first 1 in 9 twist barrel I've ever had. So I'm interested in seeing how well it works using the 55 grain 5.56. This is federal ammo, no big deal. So let's do this. Let's go ahead. I've got a target down there, and we're going to shoot at that center dot, and let's see what, what kind of groups we can put together. Here we go. So we're a little bit low. We're going to come up one mil. And we're going to come right about a half a mil. Let's see how close we end up at that center dot. Here we are. Bit high. Let's go ahead and put a nice little group together down there, see how we're doing. Now, this is not only just a functionality test, but an accuracy test. A lot of people think this is a $358 AR-15. So what does that mean? Well, it means you've got yourself a nice little AR-15 for $358. Is it a Daniel Defense, BCM, uh, whatever else there's out there, LWRC, LaRue? No. But let's just see how close we can get this thing and, and we'll document any failures, failure to feed or malfunctions. So what are we looking at? About a two and a half inch group. So let's go ahead and bring it down a half mil. Bring it back to the left. And see where you are now. All right, let's go to the top left. Elevation looks good. Let's go to the same target. All right, right side target, top.
come left. <laughs> Bottom side target. Barrel's gonna get hot on this thing. The barrel's not free floating, so I might be putting more pressure on the front of it than it needs to be. Let's see if we can go ahead and bring that bag back to the bottom left side target. Five grain, nine, one to nine twist. That's what we're getting. All right, so that is a 100 yard zero. Let's go ahead and pop that steel. See if we can get that one. Here we go. Just happen to have some steel sitting up there at 200. See how we can do up there. getting it now. Let's go ahead and I know we're pushing it but there's some 300 yard steel up there and I can barely see it through the bushes. way too much now. But we're going 400. Doing better with my uh, AR 15 pistol. 400 again. I don't know if we can even hit it. There we go. A little windage. Oh, 
over it. Three hundred. Back to three hundred. my holds now but again like I said this is a uh, just as much as an accuracy test as it is a functionality test. Three get warm. I really wish I could get that 300 dialed in. Thing is getting a little bit on the warm side. We still got three more mags. I'm not done with that 300 yard target. Where are you at? There you are. Come here, you're sticking your head right above the grass. It's wind.
Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So from a functionality standpoint, this guy is, is on. Uh, one of the things I want to do before we end up today is I want to go ahead and zero in the uh, the red dot. But what I want to do is I want to zero that red dot in at 50 yards. So let's go ahead and shoot a couple more at 50 yard. That's just too damn easy. Let's reset and go ahead and shoot up our uh, red dot with the backup iron sight. Stand by. Check for movement. We're good. Jesus, I can't even see the 300. 200. I'm hitting that bugger. All right, so here's the deal. Uh, a two, man, that handguard's getting hot. Alright, so now let's put the uh, rear aperture back up sight on here and we can line these things up. Uh, at least we can see how well it wound up. Elevation is fine. And there we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfectly lined up firearm. It's got the setup that I want. I uh, will probably keep this thing and call it my 200 yard gun. <laughs> I'm having all right guys well that's pretty much it that would be the uh, range review of this guy is it the most accurate rifle in the entire free world no it is not uh, 358 dollars you're not going to get an equivalent of a custom-built rifle or a Daniel Defense or a Bravo or spikes or whoever else is out there but what you will do and we did experience this is that were zero malfunctions out of about 200 rounds that I put through this thing so what does that say? That says that this guy right here, the Bear Creek Arsenal uh, AR-15, the basic model, 1 to 9. I'm not sure I'm sold on that 1 to 9, uh, but did it shoot? Yeah. Did it shoot accurately? At 2 to 3 MOA. Not bad. A 55 grain. But is it going to be good for somebody who wants to just get out there and plink and have a good time and a good old defensive rifle? If this is your budget, then I'd say absolutely. So later on, we're going to be doing a comparison between this and my good old boys down there at Palmetto State Armory. It's Code Boy 32. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom's not free. I was real impressed with, the, uh, with this red dot. It is bright as can be. This is a good little rifle. Good little package. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.